Check if the pressure is to at least 200 bars. Check if the green pin is fully exposed. Check if the ratchet knob is fully turned counterclockwise. Finally, check if the hose is securely connected by the three Velcro fasteners. Then, unclick the crotch strap and fully open the zipper. Put your right arm through the jacket and put it on like a vest. Connect and fully close the zipper. Always approach and leave the helicopter from the side within view of the pilot or crew member. Under no circumstance, depart or approach a helicopter during startup or shutdown. Occupy the seats from front to rear as advised by the attendant or pilot. First, loosen the safety belt. Fasten the lap strap by inserting the small part into the rotary buckle and tighten the lap strap equally at both sides. Then attach and adjust the shoulder straps and check that they're not obstructing the EBS. There are two life rafts. They are mounted at the outside under the doors at both sides. Each life raft contains an Emergency Locator Transmitter, or ELT. Another ELT is mounted on the right side of the column between the pilots. There are two fire extinguishers. One is placed under the left-hand front seat. The other one at the right side of the column between the pilots. The first aid kit is placed under the middle of the front row. The survival kit is mounted under the right-hand front seat. The pilot's life jacket is also equipped with an emergency locator transmitter, or ELT, which can be activated manually. All the emergency exits are provided with lighting, that will come on automatically during an emergency landing. Pop-out escape windows can be released by pulling the red tab to completely remove the locking strip, then push out the window. Please be aware that big or heavy passengers can't use the small windows beside the front and back row. The pilots will generally launch the life rafts. If the pilots aren't able, Launch the life rafts manually by removing the cover and pulling the red handle at the bottom of the aircraft. At sea, enter the life raft at the command. Evacuate the aircraft. Try to avoid entering the water and help your fellow passengers. The helicopter should not be evacuated until the rotor has stopped, unless instructed otherwise by the pilot in command. If you can't reach the life raft, remove the mouthpiece and nose clip of the emergency breathing system before inflating your life jacket. The life jacket can be inflated by pulling either of the inflation tubes at the front. The life jacket can also be inflated by mouth using either of the inflation tubes. In the unlikely event of an emergency, please follow all instructions from the crew. After landing, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt light goes out and you are instructed to disembark. The pilot will give a thumbs up signal when the helicopter may be approached. Remember also that you may only approach the helicopter when the landing and anti-collision lights are off. Always follow the instructions of the pilot, HLO or HDA. They will guide you through the process of leaving the helideck and on your return trip, the process of boarding the helicopter.